Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another video. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. So, Chainsaw Man has been massive. Like, even before the anime came out, it has been insanely massive. It's out on Crunchyroll right now. I watched the first episode when it came out. And it just has been trending the entire day. I am on Twitter right now. Chainsaw Man has 540,000 tweets right now on trending. Everybody loved Chainsaw Man. Everybody loved the opening. Not everybody, because obviously everybody knows I like the series. But Chainsaw Man has blew up to epic proportions, and I am happy about it. Chainsaw Man is the only manga I have read twice. I've never read it manga twice ever because it was so good. And I remember when the Chainsaw Man anime get, got announced, I was like, I want to read the manga again, which I did a couple months ago, maybe four or five months ago now. And to refresh my memory, and I just got to say, the first episode was just beautiful. The voice acting, that scream for the voice actor of Denji when he first turned into Chainsaw Man was beautiful, beautiful. The sound of the chainsaws as well, the blood, the gore, and then how Denji as Chainsaw Man is just like, oh, if all you Yakuza are gone, then I don't have to worry about paying no debt and stuff. And this is what I really like about Denji as a protagonist. He's an underdog protagonist. He came from the struggle. His father died and left a huge millions of yen in debt to Denji, which passed on to him because he owed that money to the Yakuza. And if you know what the Yakuza is in Japan, they're basically a criminal organization. And if you owe more money to the Yakuza and you don't pay, that's it. So his father is dead. The debt gets passed on to Denji. And the first thing after his father is buried that this Yakuza boss tells Denji is, hey, I don't care how you do it, but give me 700,000 yen today to a kid. And this is where Denji meets Pochita, which Pochita is the chainsaw devil. And I made a couple of videos on Chainsaw Man on my channel explaining different things. I don't know if I'm going to do some more of those videos or not in the future. Uh, I'll think about it, like explaining uh, devils and things like that. But probably those videos will gain more traction later on because I made a video about fiends explaining Chainsaw Man reincarnation, uh, like a lot of different stuff, which I'm not going to talk about some of the video titles because there's spoilers in the manga, right? Because I read the manga twice. But yeah. Great stuff. I like the relationship between Denji and Pochita, where Pochita's like, oh, Denji, I always like hearing about your dreams and stuff. So some of the key things we learned about this episode about devils is obviously there are good devils. There are bad devils. Good devils like Pochita, bad devils like the zombie devil, the tomato devil, and the other devil, which did not have a name, which Denji uh, took care of when he was a kid in the flashback. Right. So there's different types of devils. But normally, it looks like devils attack humans and stuff like that, right? But Bochita is, it looks like a weaker devil, has some injury, looks like some bullet wounds in the episode, episode one and stuff. And Denji saved them because Denji heard that devils, they could heal up and stuff if they drink human blood, which turned out to be true. So, as an episode one, as a protagonist, really like Denji coming from the struggle, like I said before. Episode 1 was really strong. The community of Chainsaw Man is really strong, and I'm really happy about this. And if you didn't know so uh, already, the creator, Tatsuki Fujimoto, is a giant movie fanatic, movie fan. If you ever read Fire Punch's other work... Fujimoto loves cinema, right? And cinema, movies, things like that, entertainment in general, influences a lot of uh, uh, a lot of things for him. And there is a lot of references in the intro of Chainsaw Man to different entertainment medias like movies and things like that. So in the opening, 
which I'm seeing this one on Twitter right now. There's a reference to Dante's Divine Comedy. Oh man, I almost played the music. I'm not trying to get a copyright. Uh, there's a reference to Reservoir Dogs. So whoever came picked up all this stuff was really cool. I never watched Reservoir Dogs. I should watch it. I think they made like a TV series or something. There's a uh, reference to Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is a horror movie, which I'm guessing this might have been the initial inspiration be behind Chainsaw Man. Maybe Fujimoto watched the movie and was like, you know what? Maybe I should create a story about a kid with a chainsaw. Make it like Chainsaw Massacre, but in terms of the gore and stuff like that, but make it a little different as well. Make it devils. There was a reference to Pulp Fiction. Uh, there was also a reference to Sadako versus Kayako, 2006. I don't know if this is a movie or not. And this reference is when uh, Chainsaw Man is fighting another devil, which I'm not going to say the name of it because that's a spoiler. There's actually a reference to No Country for Old Men. I never watched that movie. There's a reference to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I also never watched that movie. I should check those out. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Don't Look Up, a 1996 movie, it looks like. Jacob's Ladder, 1990. Constantine with Keanu Reeves. I should definitely check out that movie. The Big Lebowski, when uh, Denji is with the bowling ball in the bag and stuff, which is hilarious. Let's see what other references there are. Thor, Love, and Thunder, when power shows up in this in the screen. That's a really modern reference because Thor, Love, and Thunder came out in 2022. There's even a reference to Neon Genesis Evangelion, which is the first mecha anime I ever watched. And I fell in love. Uh, not with the mecha series, but the anime. I, I, Neon Genesis is so good. I, I have to do a rewatch one, one of these years. Uh, there was a reference to Fight Club with the giant golden ball. Fight Club is such an awesome movie. I really like it. Uh, one reference to Fujimoto Explosion, which is just basically uh, Fujimoto in some of his mangas uh, just does, you know, just does a giant explosion and stuff like that. Uh, let me see what other references to Perspective. There was a reference to that as well, which is interesting. And yeah, so those are some of the references that were in the intro, which is really impressive. And yeah, I'm going to see what people in the community are saying about episode one, because I'm pretty sure they're really happy about it. Actually, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to go to Crunchyroll itself, which is where I watched it uh, and see what people thought about episode one. I, I know some people were really happy. They were like, oh, I'm part of history and things like that which is really awesome to see the community was really happy about the episode not only the community uh content creators were really excited i was seeing on twitter so many people were happy and all that stuff uh, i was happy about it I, okay when, when i got into the episode i'm like this is gonna be a, a d decent thing but no I, I really really enjoyed the adaptation thus far and we're only on episode one and i still remember the day i first read chainsaw man it was only one chapter it just came out and I fell in love instantly. I was like, wow, this story is really interesting. Fujimoto does it once again. I really enjoyed Fire Punch when I read it uh, a couple years ago. And then Fujimoto came with Chainsaw Man. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. So some of the other things in the episode we got is that devils also have contracts. You could make a contract with a devil. Uh, Denji made a contract with the Chainsaw Devil, which is Bochita. Uh, um... Because it's a chainsaw. It's a devil for chainsaw, right? And then the Yakuza made a devil with the zombie devil, right? And the thing was, the zombie devil upheld his end of the contract. But the thing is, he gave them power and stuff, but which made them zombies. Which they, they didn't know that aspect of it. And I really like this series as well because I am a big fan of the Devil Man manga. The Devil Man Crybaby series as well. The the anime of... Uh, I think it was, it's not OVA, it's like an ONA or whatever. And yeah, I feel like this could have been an inspiration, the original Devil Man as well, because, you know, there's devils and things like that in the series. So yeah, I, I definitely like the matchup between Zombie, the Zombie Devil, and Denji, aka Chainsaw Man. It was really cool to see how strong Denji got and basically how his injuries healed. I'm not gonna lie. When he was getting stabbed, I was so, I was so, like, 
I felt so bad for him. I was like, oh man, that that really does suck. His screams and stuff, the voice acting is just so good. We got introduced to a devil hunter. That's another piece of information. In this world, there are devil hunters. Denji was considered a devil hunter unofficially though, because he was working for the Yakuza. After hunting the devil, gave it to the Yakuza and stuff like that. I guess they sold the devil parts on the black market and he barely made any money. And he literally sold his, his eye, his uh testicle he sold what what else did he sell he, he sold something else i think a kidney just to try to pay off the debt and it, it still wasn't enough i think the debt was like 38 million yen or something like that but yeah based on how i'm feeling this episode was really strong like i thought bleach episode one was really strong this is also really strong i i, I gave this episode a 9 out of 10 i really like the blood the gore the story everything and i already know the story is just gonna get even better so people says people said ladies and gentlemen i gladly welcome you to the first chainsaw man tuesday because the manga is also coming out people are talking about power and then the one with the, with the red hair people are saying this is the one of the most hype shows of the decade we're watching a future masterpiece in the making pochita is way too damn cute uh, claim you're here before episode two ticket. Hello, people of taste. The day has finally come. Chainsaw Man fans rejoice. And then somebody said broke the website. Uh, it, it's just awesome stuff. A lot of positivity in the community. And I I knew when the anime got announced for this, this would be big. But to be trending this heavily, it's even more awesome. So yeah, hope you enjoy this one and peace.